Hello everyone and welcome to another News Coulomb video and another public charging site review. So it's finally online. The charge point at the base of the Tehachapi's just off of Interstate 5. We're literally walking distance from the Tesla supercharger here in Tejon and it's finally up. Now I don't think they've made it official. It looks like they haven't even finished uh, installing the level two yet, but it does look like the site's getting power. My card worked. I was able to authorize a charge and it started charging right away. So this is a really important site and it's kind of funny with this timing because I was looping around this direction anyway and it actually happens that every single charger right now in Bakersfield is not currently available. I think there's a 24 kilowatt Harley Davidson charger, but Harley Davidson started to charge uh, people to use uh, or access their 24 kilowatt DC charger. So, uh, but outside of that, this is the only DC fast charger right now between Bakersfield and Los Angeles, essentially, that's working and it's up now and this is a really important site because it's a key especially for southbound travel coming from the bay area coming from northern california bridging over the dehachapis over a 4,000 foot mountain range nearly a hundred miles to get into los angeles uh, for your next charging opportunity so this is really important i'm glad to see it finally go up it's been literally months that it's just been sitting here it looks like complete not turned on so I can verify I'm in the middle charger right now. It's working fine. It was providing the full 125 amps, full 45 kilowatts that these chargers are capable of producing. Uh, but yeah, let's talk about this site in terms of its site score. Now, in terms of accessibility, I'm going to give it a nine, right? It's right off of I-5. It's not the easiest to get to, but part of the reason I'm giving it a high score is even though you have to drive a little way as off the freeway to get here, this site is very likely going to be available almost all the time. Now, in terms of amenities, I'm also giving it a nine. Really, the only thing this is missing is a canopy. Maybe there's not a whole lot of 24 hour security or whatnot, but it is well lit. Uh, there's 24-hour bathrooms. There's so many facilities, like I said, just within short walking distance here. And one more thing that I really, I think, needs to, to be sort of an X factor in pushing up the amenities score is it also has level two chargers on site. I know a lot of people say, hey, look, these DC fast charger sites, even if they're primarily for travel, need to have level two as a backup option. This has that. Now, in terms of site concentration, I have to give this a five. It's really not that good. Uh, three chargers simply isn't enough for this location where you are on the freeway for the demand I see for this site. It's one of the only sites that bridges a gap to get you into Southern California that does not require you to go into a city center. Now, for location, this is clearly a 10. This is one of the primary connecting routes in the one of the most populous states in the United States with the highest percentage of electric vehicle ownership. You can't get more important than this site, especially since, like I said, it's bridging the gap to get you over a mountain range that would likely be impassable without it. So that is the easiest 10 basically I've ever given a site. And then finally, charger speed. I have to give it a five right? This is 2019, almost 2020. These are 50 kilowatt chargers. No, not off of a highway route, not here. This cannot be 50 kilowatt charging site. This cannot, right? It, okay, if you want to add three more 150 kilowatt chargers, okay. But 50 kilowatt chargers for a freeway stop, you don't really have any other reason to be here than to be at the motel. And if you're at the motel, you're just gonna use the level two. So yeah, this gets a five for speed. I realize we have a lot of these CEC grant funded sites that are a year or two or three behind and they were scheduled to go in with 50 kilowatts. So that's what they're putting in, but that's just too slow. So if my math is correct, that gives this site a total score of 38, which is you know, I guess a high C, a mid C, 70, 76%, right? Uh, it, it would be, you know, a 38 out of 50. 
it's not great, um, but it's such an important site that really anything uh, was passable at that point. I, I think I think again, just get these sites faster with more chargers. Uh, at least six at a site like this, um, but it really realistically needs to be more like eight or ten, uh, and and we're good. But for right now, yeah, this gets a score of thirty-eight. I hope you enjoyed this review. Let me know what you think. Are you going to be able to use this charger in your travels? Have you been waiting for this charger? Uh, if you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe. It really helps out the channel. And thank you for watching.